Greetings. I want to speak to you concerning self-talk being a very good strategy to create your reality consciously. You see, we all engage in self-talk. And your self-talk could be negative or positive. So you could live your life from a negative standpoint or from a positive standpoint. You see, many people who grew up in society like the society I grew up in, they were taught to have a religious and superstitious mentality and to look at the Bible as literal and secular history. And so their self-talk most of the time is filled with fear, guilt, shame, condemnation and doubt because of the things that they are saying to themselves when they are with themselves. You see, when you understand how the mind works and you really understand how cause and effect is an immutable law and everyone is the cause of what is happening in their life. Then you will understand the importance of self-talk. And you will understand why even the Bible says that you must commune with your own heart upon your bed. And go into that place of silence. That place of calming your mind down. And visualize your life the way you want it to be. You see, all year on when I tell you about how they teach you to believe the Bible as literal and secular history. They do that to affect the way you see life and the way you see yourself. So if you think of yourself as a wretched sinner in need of a savior and you think in terms of right and wrong, you'll never understand that there's a law of polarity, which is the law of opposite. So light reflects darkness and darkness reflects light. But when you're dwelling in the realm of good and evil, you're going to be judgmental and you're going to have condemnation in your mind. And all of those things are blockers that will block your abundance. You see, when it comes to living in freedom, especially financial freedom, it is very important for you to understand the first immutable law, which is the law of mentalism. You must know that everything was first a thought, everything was first an idea, everything was first imagined. Because when you know that, you're able to change your self-talk. So, when you read in the Bible where it says that let the poor say, I am rich, it is self-talk it is talking about. So, even if the things are happening on the outside, which are your circumstances which be definitely is effects if you look at those and you understand that you are the cause you know that you can change it by having a different inner conversation a different self-talk okay and so you realize that everything is created twice first in the mind and then in the physical three-dimensional world so you will go in to that mental state of having a different self-talk. That is you arranging your mind. That is you setting and aligning things in your brain. And it is happening by an inner science. And so the different rituals, the self-mastery, the self-discipline, the things that you must do to alter your self-talk, all of those things are programs. And so you have to break the old program. Get rid of the old paradigm. And experience a shift in your life. Okay, because you see, when we're born in this world, they make sure that they impress our subconscious mind with limiting beliefs. And that was a shift that was taking place in our life. And that was influencing the things that we were saying to ourselves. And 
For example, I grew up in a society whereby if they see you regularly speaking to yourself, they will say that you're crazy. So they make it look as if self-talk is only popular with crazy people. But when you learn to have the right conversation with yourself, when you learn to have the right concept of yourself, and you realize that you can change the concept of yourself in many different ways. You can change the concept of yourself when you want to manifest certain things in this world. It is you changing the concept of yourself. Also, you can change the concept of yourself whereby you're changing your image, your self-image, the image that you hold about yourself. So my brother and my sister, self-talk is very important. So focus on what you're saying to yourself when you're actually by yourself. Okay, just give me one moment. The rain is coming. Okay, so I'll get the glass up. Okay, yeah. So, you, you, you have to be quite aware of how powerful your self-talk is. Because... The more aware you become of your self-talk and the more you become aware of how your mind works, the more you understand uh, neuroscience and how the neurons, neurons are wired and how they have been altered through your thinking, your mindset. You understand that spirituality and science, they use the same power, which is mind power. But we were raised to believe that spirituality is separated from science. But we realize that there is only one power, and it's only mind power. Then you know that your mind is your greatest asset. So use your mind wisely by thinking wisely having the right thoughts having optimistic and uplifting thoughts and having the right self-talk and inner conversation either your conversation are right okay whatsoever things are good whatsoever things are lovely whatsoever things are pure whatsoever things are true if it have any virtue you must think on these things having wealth and abundance is virtuous there's no virtue in poverty so, my brother and my sisters, all I'm saying to you, simply change your self-talk and start to talk the positive and uplifting things to yourself and you will attract the positive and uplifting things in your life because you will set a different program. That's what you're doing. You see, you like a walking television station uh, 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 are looking for, for, for the right word here. Uh, you, you, you are, uh, you, you, I didn't get the word, right? But it's like your, your station, okay, that's sending out certain communication, okay? It's like, it's like, uh, a GPS, that, that, that's what I'm looking for, You're like a walking GPS, Okay, and because you are magnetic and you are electrical, you have to understand all these things are happening by your thoughts. Okay, so thoughts become things. Everything was first a thought, it was first an idea, it was first imagine. Your thoughts, that electrical frequency, understand that. Therefore, your real money, your real currency, your re real riches, your real wealth lies within you. That is why your self-talk is very, very important. What do you say to yourself when you're with yourself is very important. So with that being said, my brother, my sister, I can go on and on and on, but I'm going to come to a close. I want to thank you very much for listening to me. I want to say to you, if this is the very first time that you listen to me, what I'm saying, if it makes sense to you, if it really resonates with you and you haven't subscribed already, I'm definitely encouraging you to subscribe, to like, to comment, or to share this video. Also, if you like to follow me on Instagram, you like to follow me on TikTok, you can definitely follow me at Black Mad Guru. And I will also encourage you to get my latest book, which is called The Secret Vagina, Mystery of the Virgin Birth. It's where I'm teaching you how you can bring forth your brain child, how you can bring forth 
psychologically, it can bring forth spiritually, and it can bring forth physically. Okay, you are a multidimensional being. Also, you can get my other books like Your Mood is Your Fortune, How to Turn Water into Wine, Meditate to Eradicate Poverty, Spiritual Recipe for Better Living, uh, The 66 Books of Magic, The Overcomers Bible, and much more. Also, you can get my journals where you can journal your life. And if you're not a part of my Patreon community, you're most welcome. And you can start with $5, $10, $15. But for people who are donating $20 or more, dollars, you have access to a course that is called the Inner Sun Science and Technology to create your reality consciousness. And along with that is a bonus course on self-concept. So my last encouragement to you is to make sure that you check out all of the links that are down below and let your intuition lead you and guide you into what to do. So with that being said, I just want to say peace, love you all, I'm out.